David Letterman was having a sexual affair with his assistant for a period of time. Uh, allegedly, this sexual relationship ended in 2003 before his uh, girlfriend, now wife Regina, gave birth to their son Harry. And, um, well, it turns out that this man that his assistant was living with, by the way, his assistant's name is Stephanie Burkett. Uh, Stephanie Burkett was living with a gentleman by the name of Robert Halderman. Uh, and apparently Stephanie would write about her rendezvous with uh, David Letterman in a diary. And Hal Halderman caught, or f caught their relationship by reading the diary and then uh, bribed David Letterman. Uh, and he also had pictures, too. So when he had uh, delivered the envelope, basket, whatever it was to Letterman, it had the incriminating photos, so he, ha he basically he had them. Mm -hmm. And so Letterman uh, set up this whole uh, sting operation where he gave him a phony $2 million check, and then the Manhattan District Attorney's Office wound up arresting him. That guy's in jail right now. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. Last night he didn't say that he had had this relationship while still going out with his now wife. Okay, right. They weren't married at the time, but they'd been going out for... Like 20 years. Right, years and years. So yes. he was cheating on her. Okay. Now, he didn't clarify that. And there's Stephanie Burkett doing a, a segment on the Letterman show. Okay. And I, I have a comment on her, believe me. Okay. Of course, right. All right, we're going to get to her in a second. But um, he, you know, but does he have an obligation to say that, you know, he was cheating on his wife? No, he's not a politician, I think. He's not in government. It's his personal affair, and if his wife is pissed about it, she has every right to be. But I don't think that it's our business. And the only yeah. reason we find out is because he was going through this extortion thing. Right. You know what? I 100% agree with you. I don't think it's any of our business. I don't really care. At all. I mean, what is he? A TV host, right? Right. That's all he does. He has n no dealings with anything that affects my life. I don't watch his show. I could care less. So uh, him going public to me, I think that was superfluous. I don't think he needed to do that. But it was going to come out anyway. Cause Let it come out. I mean, I, JR has said this before. The best way you could handle a situation like this is complete silence. Don't talk about it. That's possible. You know, a lot of people in PR would counsel the exact opposite. Just get it all out there, and then it's done. Right. right? And then you don't have any more questions. Now, since he didn't answer the question of when he had the affair, that also led to more questions. But uh, I hear both counts. Now, look, let's keep it real. Now, if it's O'Reilly, uh, there's still, even though he's a television host, Bill O'Reilly is an example, there's still some political relevance to it. Uh, or Keith Oberman, okay, mm -hmm. you can take it anyway. But the right wing is more has the more hypocrisy thing. But if it's just like a... A conservative entertainer, let's say John Voight, right, who's very conservative, mm -hmm. and he had an affair, who cares? Yeah, seriously. Who gives a damn? That's not relevant at all, right? And so I, I, I'm 100% with you on that count. Now, um, and I, some people are saying, does he have an obligation to apologize? Mm -hmm. Because he didn't apologize at all. Apologize during... to who? The only That's... person he needs to apologize to is his then-girlfriend, Regina. That's it. I mean, he doesn't need to apologize to us. What do we care? It's none of our business. He doesn't need to apologize to the producers, whatever. I what? heard a female viewer saying that he should have given it. Oh, is this what was happening with Letterman? Oh, God. <laughs> I know. I'm a bad man. Uh, so he, he apologized uh, to women? Uh, Why? Why? I mean, I mean, he didn't. Okay, he didn't rape her. She wanted the sex. She was willy-nilly and enjoyed it. I mean, she wrote about it in her diary later that night. Okay. Well, I, we don't know how willy-nilly she was or what she was and what was happening with the willy or the nilly. Okay. But uh, now the, the th thought there is, wait a minute, she also uh, works underneath him, if you know what I mean. All right. Sorry. Sorry. That he's the boss, and so that's a power relationship, and it could be considered sexual harassment, la, la, la. Oh, please, please, come here, come here, come here. Full and complete pardon. I'm not even having that discussion. Right. Okay. Unless he coerced her in some way and then... Yes, then that's definitely sexual harassment, right? Otherwise, can people uh, have sex at the office? Really? Of course! People have sex at the office all the time with people that they work with, and sometimes it's their boss. It happens, right? All right, now let's get to her looks. I'm a bad man! She is the perfect kind of girl to have an affair with at the office, okay? Because she's not that hot, right? Uh -huh. And, you know, Letterman's a very, very famous guy. Mm -hmm. So presumably he can get someone much hotter if he wanted to have an affair with. But two things out. One, once you're at the office, it doesn't matter. The girl grows hotter and hotter every day. Okay? Mm -hmm. nine oh, out of she's office hot. She's office hot. Now, I call it the island effect. When you're stuck with a girl on an island for a long time, eventually you're like, in the beginning you're like, I don't know. And then you're like, yeah, yeah. And then by the end you're like, oh, I know.
I know. Okay. And she's a very variable girl. You can see from the different pictures, she looks kind of, and they're like, huh? And they're like, hey, wait a minute now. Let's do a Heimlich. You know, let's see what's happening. Right? Uh -huh. uh, so, like, uh, one, you know, I think a lot of people looking at those pictures, and I'm only relaying the terrible thoughts of other people, not my own, of course, thinks, ah, oh, Dave, why'd you waste it? <laughs> you know, if you were going to have an affair, why didn't one of the, you know, da, da, da. But it's all about proximity, man. Mm -hmm. And it's all, look, because they were together. He was, she was his assistant for a while, and next thing you know, that's how things roll. Of course, now I feel bad for his girlfriend, now wife. You know, mm -hmm. obviously everybody feels bad for her, but it's just, frankly, absolutely none of our business. Yeah, totally. So, and I feel bad, man. Letterman keeps getting hit with this over and over. Remember with the ransom note for his son, mm -hmm. you know, et cetera, et cetera. So, I pardon Letterman. Let's pardon him. Okay, that's it. It's over. Full and complete pardon from the Young Turks, uh, because the personal stuff is not our business. Mm -hmm. Go. All right. You are free to go, David Letterman. We've let you go.